and all the teachers and all uh, my dear uh, students. See, the importance of organic farm is to see that the chemicals don't enter our body directly or indirectly. So for that, what we have to do is we have to preserve the nature. As I told you yesterday, nature is made up of panchaputas. The first one is air. So air pollution should be totally stopped. So that's why farm living, that is going back to the agriculture field, you don't get any pollution at all. Can you get any pollution here? Even the road is about 1.5 kilometers away. Even that road is because it is a semi-village road. Hardly very few vehicles go. So you are totally full of oxygen here because we are in the midst of a farm. So once you settle down in your life, you should think of going back to the originals. That is your parents' house where you have farm and try to make a living there instead of living in a concrete jungle. That is back to the farms. That is one thing. Air. So air usually in an uh, agriculture field, it will be pure. And we don't use any aerosols here, sprays for chemical pesticides because sprays will again form aerosols and again toxic chemicals we inhale. So we avoid that one. And the second thing is the water, which I'm going to take you round and show. Water conservation is very, very important in agricultural field because water resource is main thing and unpolluted water is the most important thing. So which is the most unpolluted water on this earth? What is the source? Rain water. So preserve the rain. So as, as soon as the rain comes, see that it is stored properly. So if you go around our farm, everywhere we have put trenches, hundreds of trenches. All on the farm we have huge trenches. So the whatever the water falls in our farm, not even one drop goes out of our farm. So if you get, say about 80 centimeter rain this year, entire 80 centimeter rain will go down to the bottom of the earth and it gets stored as a groundwater. So that is very, very important. So if you get rain, see that it won't go out if you have a house, see that water is stored by barrels or if you have got a bore well, recharge it so that water gets into the bore well. So that is water conservation. That I will show in the And third thing is, don't pollute the water. Since we don't use chemical fertilizers here, the water, you, you directly you can drink also. Such pure water we have because we are not using chemical fertilizers. That is the water, second thing. And third thing is soil. Soil is very, very important for growing the what? Plants and trees. So, soil conservation is the most important thing which is the requirement of the day. That's why World Health or World you know, the UNO has declared this as Soil Day, Soil Conservation Day. This, the, the uh, Environment Day 2022. That is Mother Earth. That is, we have only one Earth. So that we have to preserve. That I will show you how we have preserved the soil. We don't use floors. We don't use anything to scrap the land here. Anything and everything, we just chop the things and leave the choppers, that is whatever the leaves are there, there only, so that again that becomes menu. So we don't uproot the thing. We don't damage the soil. The usual practice of our farmers is they will plow. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No. Once you plow the soil, the soil gets eroded. It is just like scratching your skin by taking blades. What happens? You get scratched. You get, you get exposed to the atmosphere. You get infected. So once you plow, what happens? Whatever little moisture is there, within one day it gets evaporated. So plowing is a very bad method. Well, instead of that one, plowing, never plow anything. Even the weeds, what? You think they are weeds, they are not weeds. They are also a source of nitrogen. In fact, we are more happy when the weeds come because more nitrogen we get. So we chop them and put it, them into the bins. They become manure, organic manure. So even that uh, Parthenon, what you think that it is very, very dangerous, this one. No, no. We are very happy with the Parthenon. Before the Parthenon comes, the chopper machine goes, chops it and brings it and put it into the manure bin.
and within three months it becomes organic manure. So if nothing on this earth which is green is uh, said as not useful. That old school of thought that it is uh, weed, we have to remove it, we have to keep everything nice, tidy, clean, no. Leave it, leave it to the nature. Do you go and put uh, the manure into the forest? Does anybody go and put manure? Then how those trees, huge trees have grown? How they grow? Because all the leaves which fall, they get converted into organic manure. That is what we have to do again. Whatever the leaves, that is uh, the leaves from the coconut, leaves from other things, just collect them, put it into, wherever you go you can see, all on the plant, trees we have put uh, those, this one. And we just go and dump them. Within three months, they become organic manure. So what is important for the growth of the plant is the manure. Whether it is chemical manure or organic manure, it grows very well. And organic manure is cheap. We manufacture here itself. That I will show you. That is soil. And uh, other things, of course, noise. There is absolutely no noise pollution here. If you stay back here, morning you get so many birds, they are just singing, even the, uh, you can see even the, uh, all the animals, birds coming to that farm and uh, pond and drink water and go. You can see the, uh, 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 even the uh, uh, rare birds also come. And this uh, nightingale that comes and so many birds. And it is a uh, beautiful noise to hear. In the city, if you sleep, what are the noises you hear? Yes. In the midnight, all the street dogs will come and start barking at Puloka. They will disturb you. And they will fight in such a way that you don't get uh, sleep for another one or two hours. Of course, those since you are young, you get the sleep very easily. The, the, the elders, we experience a problem. Once we get out of the sleep, again to go back to sleep, it is very, very difficult. And early morning, again, all those Allahs, Ullahs, all, well, luckily it has been stopped from uh, past uh, few months. Otherwise, uh, 520, whether you want to get out or not, you are, uh, Allah Ramil come. All that is nice, nice pollution. Supreme Court has made an order not to disturb the people from 10 p.m. to 6 a.m. so that people let them sleep peacefully. So, that nice pollution will not be there in form. And these are the things which you will go and see practically and enjoy the nature. I don't want to take much of your time by giving all the, the speeches here. Just I wanted to introduce what we are going to see. And the last thing I would like to tell is, please make a note of whatever you see and write a neat essay. And there will be two prizes for English two prizes and Canada two prizes. So those who want to write in English, they can write an essay on English and in Karna also. The title will be The Nature or Save Earth or Environment Day or Organic Farm. Whatever the title you want to give, you give. It is your imagination. I am not going to give the subject. You may see something rare and write an essay on that. But let it be limited to the farming and greenery and the birds and the animals which you see and even the pet you saw. So let it be anything. We are used to all those things. These are nice as we like. <laughs> so they, they won't disturb us. So we have pets here, we have dogs, cats, and we have uh, and, uh, cow, we have sheep, and we have fish. If you want to do fishing, we will give you that thread. You can get this one. And nice good water is getting filled, we okay, empty it this one so that let it be this one, those who want to swim. And this side it is only two feet, you need not worry, you won't uh, uh, be get drowned. On the other, farther and far end side it is five and a half feet. So those who won't swim, no swimming only, go to the other end. Otherwise you remain in the first half, that is only two and a half feet to three and a half. The gradient is like this, it starts with the two and a half feet, goes three, three and a half, four, four and a half, five, five and a half, and the last is six feet. So that ten don't go if you don't know swimming. And there is a nice waterfall is there, you can stand in the waterfall also. And water gets circulated. The, 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 the entire water which comes there, it will go directly to the farm. No water is recycled. In regular swimming pool what you see, water gets recycled. It goes to the chamber, 
and gets filtered and come back. Here, no. The 100% water which for each other is coming there, it directly goes to the farm. That also I will show you. And we have vermiculture here. We grow worms. And also we have got a Jiu Amruta tank here. My dear students, if you have any question, ask. It is, we are not here to make any big speeches. It's only exchange of knowledge. So I'll be extremely happy to give any clarification you want. And learn things, learn the nature, love the nature, and make notes of folk. Make small notes here. And when you go back home, prepare a nice uh, article. And good article will get published also. We will send to the Star of Mysore and Andolana. They are my good friends. So I will send your essays. If they find it fit, definitely it will be published also. That way, whatever the caption or the theme you want to give, give. So all of you participate, whether you get prizes or not. Make an attempt, even if it's half a page, make an attempt. So don't worry even if you don't get the prize. Prize is not the thing. Why, why we usually keep the prizes to just to give enthusiasm and encouragement. And winning the prize is not the ultimate goal. Writing the essay is the goal. Okay, question please. Ask something, ask something sir, gave you lots of information, no? You can ask something, like if you are interested in any of particular subject, you can ask, sir. Which you found it very interesting among these, what sir told. What was very much interesting? You guys can ask about sir, who is uh, promoting soil every day. Yeah. Yes, I asked him. Yeah, yeah, good question. Yeah, somebody, uh, Come please stand up and ask. If you want to ask. Ask yes. us. Yes. Yeah. Feel free. So it's an informal class. No. Sir, no, no, about the weeds. We really didn't know about the weeds. Yeah, we, we used to pluck it ah. and we used to throw yeah. that. Ah. So, sir has given a very good information yeah. about weeds. And if you give, yes. if you bring and give, we'll give money also to you. <laughs> really, <laughs> sir. We didn't yes. know about the weeds. Yeah. We used to pluck it and we I will show you how it. it is converted yes, into really, that. Really, that is a very good information very good. Uh, what sir has given. If we leave weeds roots in the soil only, they'll take the nutrients of plants. No? They'll tell like Excellent question. Very good question. So, I will tell you. See, the weeds, once we cut the weed, it takes long time for it to again flourish. Most of it, it degenerates. And even the root, which is there inside, it gets degenerated, degraded. And it also becomes the manure. We are more happy. Not all the plants which we cut will grow. Few may grow. For example, if I go on chopping about 100 plants today, one or two may again flourish. But we are happy with them. Yes, come on, come on, be, be there. After three months, we will come and take care of you. So we will be more happy if it grows. All plants will just be because just like grass. We take a trimmer and trim it. After three months again, it will grow and again you trim. So much clippings, it comes and it's all manure for us. More it grows, we are more happy. So even the roots which are there, they are excellent material for the soil. Wherever plants are there, roots are there. Wherever roots are there, it loosens the soil. When the rain comes, all the water gets sucked into the soil through the pores. Because roots are there. Hard soil, wherever there is no plant, the, the water will not stand there. It will just spill up. You just absorb. In the road, if the, hard, the soil is hard, the water don't uh, soak. And within 10 minutes after the rain, it gets dried up. But the areas where there are plants, you go and just do like this, the moisture will be there for 24 hours, even for 48 hours. Wherever you go into our farm, just put your this one hand and uh, dig. Whatever the amount of depth you go, soil will contain moisture. Because the roots, they act as the percolators due to surface tension water tickles down so roots are very very important and roots get uh, they, they contain a lot of useful bacteria legumes and the roots once they get uh, degenerated it gets decomposed into compost that's also equally important as a manure okay you got the answer yeah. one more sir don't know what's that one more circle, which we didn't know about that. Blowing. 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 Yes. Yeah. See, that is a whole practice, this blowing. What happens is, 
when you blow the surface or when you dig or when you use this uh, mumpy and chop everything, the surface, the top soil, which contains lot of useful organisms, bacteria and these uh, no, roots and these plants, that all get eroded. And when the rain comes, hardly any water and whatever useful material it was there on the top of the soil, when the rain comes, it just goes. And I don't know how it started this flowing method, who started, how it started. Generations together it is growing. And our farm is no till farm. We don't have flows. We don't uh, um, dig anything. Wherever we want to do, only when it is very, very essential, we uh, use the digging method. Otherwise, everything is chopping hole. I will show you the chopper, how we chop this one. They just go and scrap like this, chop. And the clippings are collected and again they will be put back into the bins and that will be converted into manure. And hardly you see the soil in entire farm. Entire farm is covered with green. And when the sun falls, the hardly the sunlight goes directly to the soil and it won't get heated. Whereas in the regular soil, as soon as the sun falls, it gets heated. Here that uh, acts as a green carpet, just like covering our body with the skin. So that's why this is no till technique, no plow technique. And in long run it works out cheap also because that plowing, that digging, that's all avoided. Once uh, the entire farm gets covered with greenery, then maintenance becomes easy. Okay, any other questions? Sir, how many years it took to maintain this one? This is 60. Six years back, uh, hardly there was uh, anything, any green here. It was uh, raw, this one. I have got photos I will show you. It was not a maintained farm. It was a regular uh, farm like any other farm, not an organic farm. Now we have converted into 90% organic. Only 10% chemicals you are using. That also slowly will withdraw in another one or two or three years. Because we cannot convert a uh, regular farm into organic farm overnight. Because plant requires nutrients. Okay. Suddenly you cannot change from one system to other system. It takes time. Because organic uh, manure, it takes years together to get into the soil. Whereas chemical manures like urea, potash, uh, NPK, they get immediately into the soil. Oh, I'll give them. So that's why. Uh, it takes time and you have to plan and convert the farm into us. Overnight you cannot do. Overnight if you do it will become another Sri Lanka. There they try to convert the entire uh, this one into organic overnight and they perish because the plants will, they require a lot of uh, chemical manures. They require uh, nitrogen, potash, uh, uh, and, uh, phosphorus and all sorts of chemicals to grow the, this one. So convert to, from chemical fertilizer to organic fertilizer. So first year you have to convert, stop the organic chemical manure only about 25% and uh, fill with 75% uh, organic. Slowly change it to 50-50, then to 25-75, 80-90, like that. And at the end of 8 or 9 years, once you are very happy that uh, no, no chemicals are required, then you can stop. Even then, if something is required, if agriculture experts uh, say that, no, no, there is some potash deficiency here, you put, put little, not much, not uh, unlike uh, tons together what we were putting earlier. We are not against chemical uh, fertilizers. That, um, that should not go into your mind. It should be used in very, very minimally, just like medicines. We have to use medicines only when it is strictly required, only for survival purpose, only when that disease is more. Otherwise, we have to live with the nature. Like that, these fertilizers, they should be used, or pesticides, they should be used only when the things are beyond control, when you cannot control with the organic matter. Okay, right. Sir, why did you think of doing this farm, like greenery, like organic farming? Ah, yeah, I love the nature, that's why. Was My grandfather was a uh, Jamindar in Chiknaktali Talo. So I had seen him doing all day this one, coconut business, arecanut business, and he was a very big shot and I used, I used to see him like this, he used to always wear pet and all those shawls, and I used to imagine why I shouldn't become like that. 
So of course I couldn't become like that, but I have become like this now. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Any other question? So, please come and join the... Sir, I don't know, make a note on each yeah. and everything what he explains. What you do is, you just carry your one, one small piece of paper or one little yeah. pen. So don't do uh, And just no point, make points no, only. No, no, Elaborate it later. Keep all your bags here. One yeah, book yeah. and one pen you can carry. Yeah, yeah.